Right, I've got my um, thread cutting tool in here. It's a little ISCAR one mil pitch. The next one I'll make of these, I'll actually make the pitch probably two mil. I think one mil is a bit too fine, but trial and error, we'll soon find out. Okay, off we go. Now I'll keep the half nut engaged for this. Um, I won't be disengaging the half nut. Now I've got all my dials set up and my DRO set up, so if I accidentally do disengage it, I can uh, should be able to catch it and restart again. I've had a little thread relief groove up here, so when that thread drops in, <clears throat> I've got the DRO set to a zero, so I can just jump on the brake and stop it. And it's dropped in the thread groove and back it off. And then rewind. Let's start again. Okay, I've cut the thread. Um, full disclosure, I, ha I had to go a little bit deeper, okay? Um, I was a little bit out on the diameter. So anyway, let's give it a crack. So we've got it to start. That feels really good. It's, um, it's not super loose, but it's not super tight. And I don't know if you can see me wobbling it there. There's hardly any wobble in that. Now, the reason I went with one mil pitch is because it gives me fine adjustment when I'm using it. However, I've redone this model in CAD and I made the pitch two mil. So if you want to make it, uh, have a look at the description area of this video. There we go. Hallelujah. Right, I've got the spindle back in the three jaw chuck here and I'm holding it by the thread. However, I'm using some um, soft little, little tabs of metal to hold it, like acting like soft jaw so I don't damage the thread. And I've got it in there. I'm not too worried about concentricity. It's running fairly true. If you look at the um, OD diameter here, as I spin it up, you can see it's running fairly true. So I'm quite happy with it. So I'm just going to keep machining away here on the spindle. And I want to get this reduced down to about 10 millimetres. And that 10 millimetres will go up inside the top piece here, which I machined earlier. And I still need to pop that in the mill and do the grooves and that. So that's what I'm working on at the moment.
Okay, as you can see, I've set up the spindle cap in the milling machine and I've just using a carbide cutter, but I've just realized a couple of the flutes are damaged here. This is a, um, I'm actually filming at the school, the high school where I work at the moment. And I'd say one of the kids has accidentally dropped that and broken it. So I'm just trying to get away with it before replacing it. Um, as you know, carbide cutters are quite expensive. These are, I think there is car brand. So I've got it up in the universal dividing head. I've set it up. I've come down two mil and come across two mil to get that V in and the head set up on a 45 degree angle. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to rotate that around. So I've advanced that 90 degrees in the rotary head here, and I'm gonna pop in now and cut that. I'm gonna try and show you, cause I'm gonna to have to try and film through this guard. It's gonna be a little bit hard, so I do apologize, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Hopefully you can see that in there now. I'll take it out and give you a look at it. I'll just face that cap now. It's going to offset the tool post a little bit. There's our spindle cap finished. We'll just bring that up to the camera so you can have a look at it. I'm happy with that. Righto, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, finished. Now, there's a deviation from the plan. Uh, this internet plan that I found called for a hexagon to be machined. Um, I was all set to do that, and when I was doing it, someone didn't lock up the dividing head and it moved and wrecked my hex so yep <laughs> so bugger 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 so i had to machine off the stuffed hex and i put a knurl on it okay so look it doesn't look too bad it does look a bit ugly i would have preferred the hexagon there i've also deviated from the pan i couldn't find a washer here in the workshop to fit that so what i did i just center drilled it and i cut four slots with the hacksaw and I dropped in with a big center punch and just whacked that once. And by whacking it, I spread it out and that's captured that on top. It won't let go and I can still spin it and adjust it. So there we have it, my little machine jack. Now, if you'd like the 3D CAD model for this, um, look in the description area 
of the video and I'll give it to you for free and you can have a play. I haven't done the 2D drawings for it, um, but I could probably upload the 2D drawing that Adam Carmichael sent me as well. He sent me a photo of this job. It's actually a TAFE New South Wales job. Uh, I didn't know that and Adam Carmichael, thank you for pointing that out. But anyway, I've done the 3D model guys, so help yourself to it, knock yourself out, make one, enjoy, get out in your shop and do something. See you guys. Bye-bye.